Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with Intact and Rose of HQ. In this video, we're going to continue our artist series on Ruth Asawa. Ruth Asawa is an American artist that's known for making these modernist sculptures with this looming technique. I really liked all the textures you can see in it and how you can see through it. But she'll also do these drawings that also have the essence of this like looming shape and I was inspired by this to try to kind of have the essence of that in Touch Designer. It's I didn't want to have a exact like representation of her shape, but feel the the textures and the dimension of it. So in Touch Designer, I made this animation loop that has uh, out of stops and tops and it has this like abstract shape with these kind of looming textures that goes in and out on itself and uh it's kind of it's fun to make it's pretty easy and it, it, you can take these techniques to make it your own so let's get started so as always we'll start with a clean network and we will add a circle stop in the circle stop i'm gonna lower the division to be 10 and the radius to be 1 and 0.83 so stretch a bit after this, I will add a transform. And transform, I want it to be rotating. So in the rotation RZ, I will do abs time. No rotate here. Under this, I will add a tube. In this tube, I'm going to make a view, uh, show the wireframe by making a viewer active and press the W key. So you can see all the points over here. The primitive type, I'm change it to polygon, and the radius, I'll have it to be 0.1 and 16. You see how I make it here active and rotate. It made a real, pretty much closed one end and made it really big in the other end. And if you increase the height, then it kind of has a tube shape again. So I'm gonna for now, just make this higher. I'm gonna adjust this height later on, but just so for visually we can see what's happening, uh, I'll make this height to be 30. And on the detail page, I'm gonna change the rows to be 22 and the columns to be 35. And these are numbers that I thought worked well for me, but feel free to um, adjust the rows and columns, especially once we kind of got the look to see what works for you. Great, we have this tube. Let's add a twist after this. And this twist, I'm gonna also show the wireframe. I'm gonna increase the strength to be five. Awesome, I have this like interesting abstract. Kind of looks like a witch hat. <laughs> and I will put a copy stop. This copy stop, I'll just have this pipe into the front and this as the second. And if you put it in the wireframe, you see what happened is, is all the shape went to every of this point over here. So I have all these like, yeah, all the circles on the point. And it's really a cool, actually on the top area, you can see it kind of spiral because of the twist. Great. I'm gonna add a null after this. You can name this whatever you want. I'll just name it basket. It's not really a basket, but it'll be art basket. <laughs> so I want this height to actually be moving over here. So like I said, currently we have this height to be 30, but what I really want it to do is if it can go up and down. This kind of gives us like breathing like feel. We'll do this by adding a LFO chop. LFO chop, the type I'll change it to Gaussian. Gaussian, so how you how do you pronounce it? I never really know. <laughs> and this uh I'm gonna have the frequency to 0 0.05, so it'd be quite slow. But also because we're going to change the range of this to be um, negative 20 to 20. 
add an arm and I'll just call this tube bike. And I'll make this active and I can drag this into the height. So now we see this breathing up and down. And feel free if you feel like it's too slow to increase this frequency up. Great, we got this. Let's make this type of geometry after this one, after the basket. We have this and if you press W, we can make this viewer active. Oh, sorry, make it a uh, wireframe mode so we can see all the different shapes. And let's have this add a rotation. So this rotation X, I'll do abs time dot frame um, times five. Oh, let's just see how that looks right now. And the R Y. I'm gonna have it be negative abs times that frame. It's a little bit too fast, so let's have it times point one. Let's also slow down this ROI by times point five. I tweak these numbers, but I'm okay for that for now. I'm gonna add a line material. So the line material is how we can keep seeing this wireframe mode. So this. There's a few different parameters I want to change in this. And the distant far, I'll have this to be 20. And with the width near, I'll have it to be 2. With far, actually with near, I'll have it to be 6. With far to be 2. Uh, distance near to be 8. And on the line page, I'm going to change the line far color to be white. And pipe, drag this on, have this as a material. We'll add a camera comp and a render top. Render top, I'll add a null, call this out, and I'll make this viewer active so we can see what's happening. So it's very zoomed in right now. Let's in this translate, this translate Z. I'll put 25. You want it a little bit closer. 21. And then tweak it to how you want. So this is kind of the foundation of this basket weaving shape. Awesome. Uh, and let's make it a bit more interesting, different colors. I'm going to add a ramp. Right now, this render is 1280 by 720, so I'm going to have this ramp to be the same dimensions to be 1280 by 720. And I'll change this to be uh, circular and increase this so I don't see the edge of the circle. And I want it the um, beginning to be like a brown ish color. Cool. Add uh, to multiply. And pipe these two. So cool. Now it has this like brown color over here. Great. After this, I'm going to turn this off. So I'm going to add an edge. This edge, already this looks pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> the edge, uh, I'll, you can, we can play with the strength on this, but I will add a composite. This composite, I'll pipe these two in. Let's see what we active show we have. And I'm going to show you. So this is without the composite. 
and with the composite. I like this kind of negative, um, negative space the multiply gives, but feel free to also play with different types. Uh, I feel like divide is is a quite interesting look too. Uh, maybe even with like a different color for the ramp, or even like. These two having a different color can give a different effect to the composite, but I'll switch it back to multiply for now. And let's give this a background. So I'm going to add a transform. And this transform, I'll make the background maybe more like a gray, a pinky gray. Uh, the alpha needs to be one. And comp over background, turn it on. I'm going to make the brown a little bit lighter. Cool, cool. And um, from here, the basics of it is finished, but you can play around. Uh, I like to have a little border around this, so you can have like a rectangle top. Make sure the resolution is 1280 by 720. And I uh, have the rectangle size to be 0 0.95, 5.6, and multiply. Pipe the comp and multiply, and then pipe that before the transform. And now. A little bit if I want a little bit less of a border. Yeah. 0.95.53. Great. And that's it. Uh, what, what you can do from here, you can play with the composition, play around with the different rows of the details and the columns. You'll give more space, less space when there's more. So, like a more dense loom. I would say if you have more rows and columns, um, can play with even making this audio reactive. So rather having an LFO for the two pipe, what if it's the audio having it kind of give a breathe effect. So it's kind of a little fun little tricks. Um, and I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.